A cabinet shuffle in Chile's government on Friday. Five new ministers appointed. A move by leftist President Gabriel Boric that signals a shift to the centre ground. El propósito de estos cambios the purpose of these changes is to improve our capacity to respond and to improve our management in the face of today's urgent needs of our homeland and our citizens, he said. It was a bruising week for Boric as he reached the end of his first year in office. On Wednesday, the president suffered his largest political defeat to date when Congress rejected his tax reform package. It included higher taxes on the rich and had been the backbone of his presidential campaign. Defeat on tax reform compounds the referendum result last September, when Chileans rejected a progressive new document to replace the country's military-era constitution. It's been a difficult period for this, this first year of the President Boric because uh, considering these two major setbacks, they're having problems to develop the agenda that was um, uh, proposed in, in his program of government. Boric took office a year ago after sweeping to victory in presidential elections. In his mid-30s, the former student activist leader promised an inclusive political and economic agenda. His victory signalled a historic shift in Chile, voters turning their backs on traditional centrist coalitions. This following 2019 social unrest that saw millions take to the streets to protest inequality. A year on, Boric has faced truckers' protests, tension over immigration in the north, devastating wildfires in the south, the highest inflation since 1991, and increasing levels of crime. The government points to inflation slowing in February and stands by its agenda for widespread reform and its commitment to generating green economic growth. Taking care of the environment is a condition of economic development because if it's not, we're undermining development. Even if one only talks about the economy, we're undermining it if it's done at the cost of destroying the environment. Boric said on Friday he remains optimistic. But he faces the challenge of balancing his supporters' expectations for reform while also finding broad political consensus on major legislation. Joel Richards for CGTN.